Hi guys, it's Brittany. Today I want to talk about lap babies or lap infants, lap children, whatever you want to call them, and the things that I feel like are the most important things to know if this is going to be your first time ever flying with your lap baby or toddler. We first started flying with our son when he was three months old and I literally googled flying with a three month old because I just had no clue what I was doing. I've learned a lot since then. We've been on over 30 flights with him and so I've just kind of jotted down about 10-ish things that I feel like are most important to know. If this video helps you out, please remember to like it down below and check out some of my other videos on how to entertain your baby or toddler on the airplane and what to do about bringing milk onto the airplane. Okay, so first of all, what is a lap infant? If you don't know, you can bring your baby onto the plane for free or close to free and they can sit on your lap, they don't get their own seat, and you can do this until they turn two years old. Very sadly for us, we are coming to the end soon of our own lap baby journey, but it has been very, very useful for us getting to travel to a lot of different places with him before he even turned two years old. There is some controversy out there over whether or not lap babies should be allowed, safety concerns that are valid, so we'll see if this practice continues into the future or if we will one day have to buy seats for our babies under two. Okay, so the first thing that's really important to know about a lap baby is that even if your baby is flying for free, completely free, you still have to declare them to the airline. You still have to let the airline know that your baby is going to be on the plane. And essentially how you do this is when you're buying your own ticket, you will add an infant to your ticket. Sometimes you're able to do this online. We've had to call after buying our tickets a few times and add our son to our tickets, which is kind of a pain in the butt because you're on hold and you're waiting to talk to a human. But just so you know, just because your baby is free and isn't going to have their own seat doesn't mean you don't have to tell the airline that your baby is going to be on the plane. Maybe this is really, really obvious to most people, but just so you know. Okay, number two. So like I said, your baby can be a lap infant until they're two years old, meaning that if your baby turns two, if they have their second birthday during your trip, their outbound ticket might be free or they can sit on your lap, but returning home, you will have to purchase them their own seat. So if possible, try to get some of those dream travels in before your baby's second birthday. Number three is that in my experience, a lap baby is never 100% free. Your baby will often end up costing you in the end a percentage of an adult ticket or taxes and fees. It won't be as much as a normal ticket, but it will often be something. Number four, you might be wondering about seat belts for lap infants. If you're flying in the United States, there are no lap infant seat belts on takeoff or landing. You just hold your baby like in the, I don't know what you call this position, <laughs> with your baby folding, holding facing backwards or in the breastfeeding position. But if you're flying in Europe, they do have baby seat belts. It's essentially like a miniature little seatbelt loop that loops around an adult seatbelt. So on takeoff and landing, your baby sits on your lap facing forward and you hold them like that with their little baby seatbelt on. Thing to know number five is that there are places on the plane, there are seats on the plane where lap babies can't sit. So even though you requested a seat in the emergency row, for example, you may not be able to sit there with your baby. Emergency rows are probably pretty obvious, but you might also be bumped from a normal seeming seat because it doesn't have enough oxygen masks or life vests. Also also, this is obviously not in regards to lap babies, but if you are bringing your car seat on the plane for a baby, the car seat has to be in a window seat. Number six, in my experience, a lap baby or a lap infant is very, very different from a lap toddler. So yes, technically you can bring your baby on the plane until they turn two years old, but do you want to is the question. For us, yes, it's totally worth it. We are the crazy people who will bring our son on the plane as a lap baby until the day before his second birthday. But I highly recommend if you've never done this before that you seriously think this through because it is not easy to have a large child on you in a cramped space trying to keep them happy and entertained especially on a long flight. A teeny tiny baby, no problem. That first flight that I was really worried about with my three month old was nothing. That was so easy compared to how he is now as an almost two year old. Number seven is that your lap baby may need ID. So always bring your birth certificate with you when you're traveling with a lap baby because they might want to verify that your baby actually is under two years old. Number eight, you might not know that most airlines will allow you to bring your diaper bag onto the plane for free if you're traveling with a lap baby. This is a, in addition to the carry-ons that you're already allowed to bring. I actually have a list of the airlines that allow this. I will try to remember to put it in the description down below. Number nine is about car seats. There's a little trick you can do if you want to 
try to get your car seat onto the plane with you for free. It doesn't always work, but I have heard that it works for a lot of other parents. We never tried this because our son always hated the car seat. So what you do is you bring your car seat through the airport to your gate with you instead of checking it in right away. Also, by the way, you can check your car seat and your stroller for free when you're traveling with a baby, even a lap baby. So take your car seat, bring it to your gate, and instead of gate checking it, you can gate check it, but first ask the gate agent if there is a free seat available on the plane and they may let you have that seat for free and they may let you bring your car seat on the plane and put it in that seat. It's true, I've seen this work for other people, so you can give it a go if you really wanna bring your car seat on the plane, but you don't wanna buy a ticket. You can give it a shot. And then finally on this list, numbers 10, 11, 12, I have a few things here I wanna talk about. The bulkhead row versus other rows, you might've seen my other video about this on bassinets on airplanes. If you book the bulkhead row, which is the bigger row at the front section of the airplane that has a little bit of extra leg room, on long haul flights, you can also request a bassinet for your baby. This is a bassinet that hooks onto the wall in the bulkhead row and essentially you have a nice little bed for your baby. It's completely free, but you have to call and request it in advance. So check with your airline's website and see if they offer this because for some people it's a huge game changer. Another reason you might want the bulkhead row for your lap baby is because you won't have a person sitting directly in front of you so there's nobody to recline into you while you're holding your lap baby which is huge and if you have a lap toddler on your lap your toddler won't be able to kick anybody there because there is nobody in front of you so they won't be able to disturb anyone on the plane also huge you might have to pay a little extra for the bulkhead row but it might be very much worth it for you especially if you have a long flight and then I guess the very last thing here is window seats versus aisle seats this is just gonna be up to your own personal preference people are very gung-ho about whether or not they're a window or an aisle person I like the window I've always liked the window even before I had a baby but even more so with the baby because when I was breastfeeding I just felt like it was a little bit more private in the window especially when I was flying by myself with my baby and I could lean on it I could lean my arm up against it. The aisle just to me felt a little bit too busy with a baby on my lap, but some people really like it because you have easy access to the bathroom or just to get up and rock your baby and you don't have to worry about disturbing anybody or asking anybody to get out of your way. I'd actually be really curious to hear which of these you prefer in the comments down below. All right guys, that's it for lap babies. Let me know what I missed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.